Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of T-365, where I demystify Microsoft solutions for the MSP space. In today's video, I'm going to showcase how to document all of the MFA registration in your customer environments using a script that I wrote here. I want to give some background too, as Microsoft has evolved with their MFA over time. There's been various methods in which now users can register. The previous method, which many of you are familiar with, is this MFA portal where they go in and you decide a status of enabled, enforced, or disabled. And a lot of you are still doing this today to enforce MFA in your Microsoft tenants. Microsoft then came out with conditional access policies where you can apply if-then statements and make users register for MFA through particular policies. The final activity that was created is under the property section here. This was back at the end of 2019 where they introduced security defaults, which are on by default in all net new Microsoft tenants that are created. Essentially though, this is enforcing MFA as well. The problem lies in the fact that if you are enabling security defaults or conditional access policies, the MFA registration doesn't necessarily translate back into this portal saying that it's enabled. This is separate from that in that activity. This is traditionally still using PowerShell if you want to manipulate it, whereas security defaults and conditional access policies are leveraging the Graph API from Microsoft. So what I wanted to do here is take all that information and give you that uh, report of your customer environment to see exactly how they're registered. And a tertiary statement to that would be saying that you also want to identify if you're using a third party MFA like Duo, for instance, to register for that. So this is the script here I'll get into here in a second, but this is the output in the sense of a single customer record where we're seeing all the users, we're seeing, I call it the legacy MFA method of disabled, enforced, or enabled. We're seeing if MFA is registered through a security defaults or conditional access policy on a per user basis. And then some additional metadata, such as all their conditional access policies by name, and then any custom controls that you have in there as well, like Duo MFA is a very common one that I see and talk to many MSPs about. So in this particular case, you can export this as well to PDF or um, CSV in an Excel sheet if you wanted to consume it that way in this particular manner. But essentially, this is a multi-tenant level script that is leveraging the uh, secure application model. And that, if you're not familiar with, I'll link as well here so you could run that script um, pre-running this script so that you gather all the necessary applications and uh, the tenant ID and secret and all that that you'll need to actually run this script. That is most commonly where you'll get errors um, if you do get any at all. And then the rest of the script is just looping through all of your customers in Partner Center and producing these HTML pages in a temp file on your C drive. So with that, let's go ahead and pop into the actual script so you can see it in action. So I'm here within PowerShell and I've already gone ahead and just pasted in all my keys so I can create this headless authentication into my Partner Center in a secure fashion. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just paste in the rest of the script here and go ahead and run it. And this will take some time, obviously, depending on how many clients you have, but it'll give you some uh, the visual appeal here as well to basically talk about what customer it's looping through and talking about the potential conditional access policies that it's grabbing as well. The cool part about this script is, in addition to this, is that it will update your existing files if you really wanted to. You may get these errors if you've had a client that is stale in your partner center in the sense that they've left and they've removed you as the advisor in the account. So they've removed that delegated admin relationship. You'll then start to get these errors that, that say that's unauthorized, which makes total sense. So just be aware if you see that. Everything else is just kind of looping through and, and grabbing all of the policies and everything like that through a mixed method of PowerShell plus Graph API and authenticating that way. So I'm going to let this go ahead and run all the way, and then we'll be coming back here when it's complete. Okay, so we're back here and everything has run successfully, and I've gotten a new command line. So you'll see all this as far as the output goes, but then if you pop into your C drive temp folder here, you'll have these HTML pages that you can then navigate to as well. So you may see their default domain listed here. You can click on them. It'll open up that page, and you can see all of them listed here on the left. And see all their policies and if there's no custom control you won't see that either and you can search through them by name or anything like that or you could sort by these certain fields 
but it's really giving you a holistic snapshot of where people are in time and really a true method in my opinion of MFA registration across the town just because of all the confusion so you can then isolate users who do not actually have MFA enforced and decide what to do or decide if this is your upgrade path to conditional access policies or something along that nature. So that's everything I wanted to showcase here. I'll link these scripts below, but feel free to put in any questions in the chat below the video. If you haven't already, please like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks guys, have a great day.